level designer's job is really to build uh, the content of the game. They build the actual environments. The game designer is uh, responsible for the, the core design and the core mechanics and the core systems of the game and sort of making sure that from level to level the progression of difficulty, the, the gameplay challenges uh, progress in a, in a way that the player can keep up with the challenge. You need to make sure that uh, things are consistent, that the player is learning from level to level uh, how to pass the necessary challenges and those challenges aren't just changing uh, randomly from level to level. A door always needs to open the same way for the player. Um, guns need to work in a consistent fashion. All the systems need to be consistent because you can't keep teaching the player the same systems again and again. You have to make sure he learns them once and then is able to build on that knowledge rather than having to learn the same things multiple times. You can start with a very simple challenge in, in an early level, like uh, level one, you'll learn how to climb a pipe. Uh, come level three, you'll, you'll want the player to have to climb that pipe again, but in a slightly different, slightly more challenging scenario where there might be an enemy looking out the window. Uh, and then in level five or level seven, you're going to have uh, the player climbing a pipe with an enemy looking out the window with a moving dynamic light uh, searching the, the area of the pipe. Once the player has learned a set of skills uh, in, in one part of one map or over a, the course of a few maps, you want to uh, then encourage the player to face all of these challenges simultaneously or in close proximity to each other.